At this point in time, I should probably share with you what my documentary is about. After all, how are you supposed to understand the complex process of my research techniques if you don't know what I'm researching in the first place? Well, fear no more. My documentary will follow the controversial, meaningful insight of dark comedy films. From Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator to Christopher Harris's Four Lions, I will be looking at why these films that depict such harsh subjects and debatable messages and values are so successful. After doing some basic research on the genre and films, I discovered that there had been numerous protests to stop the screening of some of these movies. Protesters around the world marched against the life of Brian. It was dropped by financiers, banned by councils, states, even entire countries. But it still managed to get shown and still managed to offend seemingly every world religion. I decided to ask some questions to a focus group of eight people. In this focus group were teenagers aged 17 and 18. Firstly, I asked them if they liked black comedy films and why. Then I showed them an exciting clip of Frankie Boyle's Tramadol Nights. Look, it's evil, Knight Rider. No, that's just our reflection in a window, Michael. Okay. What was that, kid? I didn't say anything, Michael. I think my voice must sound similar to that woman you have tied up in the trunk. And an even more exciting clip of Jackass. I recorded their responses and planned a second focus group. However, I had no more friends to conduct a focus group with, so I resorted to doing an internet focus group. You may be wondering, how in the heck does that work? Well, there's a fascinating site called Omegle, where you can ask strangers questions. So I decided to ask a question. Do you like hearing offensive jokes? Is there a line when it comes to comedy? What about black comedy films? Are they too controversial? I feel this topic of discussion was interesting, and the concept was original. You do know earlier, when I said I had no more friends left, that I was joking. I have lots of friends, I'm very popular. In fact, I go to parties all the time. The real reason I did an internet focus group was because it gave me an opportunity to get an opinion from a wide variety of people, from different countries and cultures. The only issue was that this didn't give me a concept of my target audience, as everyone on there was anonymous. These focus groups were a main source of my qualitative research. Primary research that can't be measured. Moving on to quantitative research. Primary research that can be measured. I made a questionnaire posing many questions about dark comedy films. I made this questionnaire with Google Drive, a fantastic invention that allowed me to see the responses very easily, especially with their nifty graphs. I will be discussing the responses and analysis of these responses in the next section.